Alright folks, welcome to a new playthrough. We'll be playing The Outer Worlds on the PC. Uh, this game is... I guess the, the best way to call this is it's Fallout in space. <laughs> like, yeah, pretty much. And, uh... Oh, well, it should be pretty interesting. We'll start a new game. We'll play on normal. Yeah, we'll play on normal. Or we could play on hard. Now let's play on hard. Let's make it a bit more... A bit more interesting. Text size, well, I'm a boomer, so I should probably put that to max. Let's put it to... Let's put it to two. No hope. Oh, here comes the wacky scientist man. Sounds familiar? <sighs> Hundreds of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. we get to create our character here now what do we what do we want do we have do we want to have strength we want to be a more melee oriented character do we want to be more we have more dexterity that's uh more on attack speed and weapon reload intelligence is crit uh, perception is headshot and weak point damage bonus. Charm. That's mostly to. Uh, oh. Got a favor. Max temperament. Okay. Hmm, stiff upper lip, even without all the ice. Full regeneration. This guy will regenerate like crazy. Cannot die. Cannot die, but he can lie. Rest in charisma. Okay. You're a block of frozen meat, and I like you already. I'm sure this is going to go real well and won't be a huge garbage pile of a character. Alright, we get to choose our perks, well our, our tags mostly. Um, it's dialogue. You could make a vicar doubt the law. The other one, uh, what is this?
tech? How are we gonna fight? You do you guys do know it's it's a Fallout game, right? We don't. Okay. You wrote that paper on breeding a cysty pig with 30% more tumors. Okay. Aptitudes. Alright, so this went to determination, uh drink effect duration. Plus went to block, went to persuade, shock damage received, engineering, dodge, and ray, erosion, inspiration, medical, science. I guess science would be, make sense, or termination. Food tester. Farmer dirt. Okay. It'll be a miracle if you make anything grow. This is gonna be a great character. All right, female or male? I can't choose that, unfortunately. Will be fantastically bad. Yeah, I can't wait to restart the levels over and over because our character's garbage. Randomize. Oh my. Oh my. <laughs> I, I don't know what gender this is. It has a female face. Or bone structure, but... Giant beard. Well then again, it could be a progressive game. So, what are we making? Random five times and take it. Okay. One, two, three, four, and five. <laughs> All right. I, I don't know what my gender is. Well, it doesn't matter. What, what will this personage be called? No, no, it won't be lucky, that's for sure. Please delete that mustache, I'm sorry. All right. This is such a bad character. Like, it's really bad. And we're playing on hard. <laughs> Can't wait. Looks to be your lucky day, my friend.
Boy. Wacky doctor's in trouble. Ah, there you are. Wondering what's going on, eh? A bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on the Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, <laughs> reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, <laughs> not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yeah? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! Right. Doing a drop on the colony. And then we'll see the smuggler. Can you hear me? Is this thing working? Ah, there you are. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. Not to worry. I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one-of-a-kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple wireless monitor, so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm... all the colonists are counting on you. Oh boy. Somehow we made it. Ah, you've landed good. Hawthorne should be close by. What in law's name? Is that him? Oh, that idiot. I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. Oh well, no sense in letting his ship go to waste. Oh, oh no. I won't mind you taking his ship. Better you than the board, huh? Rip. I'm sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. For sure. Uh, but first, let's just uh, fix the mouse. There we go. So I guess it's tutorial land as you usually do. Oh. Little bug there. Don't know if we'll find anything. Probably not. Should probably just walk straight through. Do the tutorial as simple as it is. We can sprint. Guy here. Crouch to sneak. Boys. This guy's got some Adreno. I don't know what Adreno is, but... I'm gonna assume it's probably healing. While sneaking, use tall grass, rocks, and other cover to... Oh, we'll never know. Awareness meters. Getting aware. Good. Oh. He 
snuck in. We're in, boys. We're in. What was that about? As if we stopped time. My knees! Oh, well, there you go. One Adreno for healing. There you go. Hey, you. Come here. Hey, guy. What you, you doing? Try the best now. Now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stings. We got medical. Let's let's patch him up. Uh, looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's Choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. What happened? We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take him. Then my gun misfired. Right through my side. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. Hiding in a cave and you blocked off the exit. You're as good as dead. Is this about marauders? Gibbering, flesh-eating, law-breaking, unemployed lunatics with guns. Some hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Pretty good. Well, we can persuade, we can lie, or we can intimidate. I've got a better idea. You give me your gun, and I'll get some help. Or if someone's grounded their ship illegally, I'll hunt them down for you. You're an idiot. Give me your gun before you get yourself killed. Hmm. kind of person are we? Three. We will intimidate him. All right. Yeah, you sound a lot like my lieutenant. Here, hope this gun serves you better than it did me. Here, you can have my saber too, for patching me up and all. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's Choice. Yes, nailed it that time. Where are we? You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. A uh, prettiest place in the Vale. Uh, be sure to stop by our provisioners for a can of our famous salt tuna. The Hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with Anti Cleo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. I see. Well, we've got a gun. Also, we also have a saber. We have, have up to three, four weapons equipped at the same time. Good thing all our abilities with weapons are complete garbage, so we should be completely fine, right? Where are we, what are our stats exactly? Uh, skills. Alright, one-handed melee is six, handgun is six. Oh, boy. Damn it, my ears! Oh, oh, what just happened? Can you hear me? What in the hell? This... Something's not right. We're also stealing everything because... because we can. Alright, so this is a... an ability. Tactical time dilation. Vandals here. Break you. All 
right, simple and easy. Double click the jump button to dodge left. Simple enough. Hacking. Ooh. Uh, we can't hack. Don't have the mag locks for it. Or whatever the blue things are. I think they're mag locks. That's it. That's all we need. Alright, let's keep on going. More people here. I should probably save. Never know. If only we were good with guns. A new weapon. Oh my. What happened to the body I just killed? Well, it's not important. Why not use your blade? Um, as good with my blade as I am with my, uh, with my gun. Hey there, lady. What you doing? Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Gall on that rung leech. Landing in the veil without using an official Spacer's Choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. We have 18 and two-handed. Go melee. Uh, last I checked, we have one-handed weapons. On one of your teammates, holed up in a cave. Really? How is he? Alive. He'll make it. I helped him with the pain. Still a moron. I'm hoping you're a little brighter. Of course I am. I'm a superior officer. Stands to reason, don't it? Just you watch. I'll cross these marauders off with a swift, cost-efficient fury that's made Spacer's Choice the most trusted brand in personal defense. I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs some. Oh, we get to choose. The Spacer's Choice Guards back down from a challenge. I bet you could take those Marauder... You could get these Marauders to tell you where the owner of that ship is. I will guess I'll have to give you... To give a zero on my customer satisfaction survey. Hmm... Two, 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 two. You think? Most marauders can't even talk. But criminals do attract other criminals by their own nature. You know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. And it's gonna be fucking laminated. Oh boy. Go. Let's go, Let's squad. Go. You, you do what you gotta do. Oh, sh Oh, they're all dead!
did it! We killed everyone! Leveled up. I'm sorry. Wanted to end this way, but it did. At least your, your equipment will go to good use. Monster here. Alright, let's check out that level. Every time you level up, you earn skill points to spend on improving skills. Spending a skill point on a core skill improves all of the specialized skills in that group up to 50. Uh, okay. Every skill improves as it grows, but special unlock bonuses occur every 10, 20 points. Okay. So let's say we put point into melee. Got the both going up. Unlock power and sweep attacks. Look, 18 points and two-handed melee. Yeah? What don't you understand in one-handed melee, though, that I keep saying? More points in tech. Well, let's put two points... Like, if everything unlocks at 20, let's put two points in leadership. Two points in sneak and hack. Unlock the ability to sell goods to vending machines. Ooh. Like this, you know, would be good eventually. Doors and containers requiring one mad mag pick to unlock or free to open. Wow, that's really good. I think. All right, let's upgrade our tinkering. Oh, we got perks. Apply. Melee power attacks. Perks. Oh my, there's a lot of stuff. 50% base health, uh, that would be pretty good, I think. More di time dilation would be pretty good as well. 25% when alone, uh, not so much. Not when we have a charisma build. Walk speed could be good. I mean, just going around faster. Sprint speed. Oh, armor loss. Companion vendor prices. Experience from companion kills. Unlock the fast travel when it encumbered. Pretty good. Carrying capacity. Ammo, base armor. When do we get companions? I think, yeah, soon, I guess. There was the town nearby that they said still water, so. I'm thinking either more health, because we are playing on hard, or more dilation, or. I mean, more, more experience from companion kills could work. So... Since you really are... Companion would get more abilities. Alright, I'll go with more health. Can't go wrong with more health. Staying alive is the most important after all. Save. Alright, the ship. 
companions won't kill anything on hard. Please be informed oh. that this vessel contains no valuable plunder. Unauthorized access of space-faring vessels is a crime. Please submit yourself to the authorities. Hello, Marauder. I am Ada, the autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. What are you going to do? Self-destruct? Gesture procedures initiated. Disengage in airlocks. Prepare to reject all boarding parties in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> you do realize we're on the ground, right? You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. I need to get the ship in the air. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. Hawthorne's dead. I'm sorry. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? All right. Guess we're Hawthorne now. Well done, Captain Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged, and must be replaced. Oh, let's use our engineering skill. Astutely observed. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High-capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new Captain's Identity Cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and Captain of the Unreliable. Do you understand? Roger that. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. All right, we are now Captain Hawthor Hawthorne. If this equipment is, this is our ship. Repair or modification, the Crux 2000 workbench is at your disposal, Captain. I suppose everything on the unreliable belongs to you now, Captain. Help yourself. No, really. I was going to repair, upgrade, and modify your weapons and armor. Okay. Shotgun. Garbage. The ship's engines cannot be powered until a replacement regulator has been properly installed. Alright. Anything here? Want to be a brand new you? Try out our respecification machine. Alex installed it himself. Right before he died. Oh. Rip. Some beer. Hands in the fridge. Nothing really that useful. These are the crew's quarters. Alex preferred to travel alone, but he always had me. I don't have enough to unlock that. 
right. That's pretty much it. Big ship, yeah. Probably not use Marauder stuff. Oh, it's the guy here. I'll be with you, friend. I'm Ernie from the Spacer's Choice Department of Human Resources. Town sent me hereabouts to check on the guards. Now, it seems to me, and correct me if I'm wrong here, but it seems to me they're all dead. Mind telling me what happened here? Guards accidentally, brutally shot themselves while on patrol. We lie. Accidentally, brutally shot themselves, huh? Unbelievable. Second time this month. Guess I'd better get to cleaning up. Can't just leave company property scattered about, bleeding out on the dirt. And clean up this ship while you're at it. Could use their gear. Uh, no can do, friend. That armor's Spacer's Choice property. Bodies, too. Living or otherwise. Company policy, you see. You don't want to amble on over to Edgewater at your earliest convenience. Constable's office might have work for someone with your, uh, let's just say, aggressive disposition. Oh, and uh, be sure to stop by the Edgewater Provisioner for a can of salt tuna. It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's choice. All right, well, thanks for that, buddy. Let's go to town. Have a map? Straight. Shoot him. Why am I... I'm not going to shoot random civilians here. Marauders. Thing I have all this regeneration. Uh -huh. Guy up there. They said marauders don't talk. They just die. Oh no, residents. bullets left more than enough oh that reminds me we did get a few new weapons like the sawed off shotgun and the light assault rifle Which is which, though? Oh, there's the town. Look at that. Nice and bright. Whoa, hey, where'd you come from? Hey there. So Don't go ambling out in those hills. That's marauder territory, friend. Passing through. 
How do you know I'm not a marauder? You talk too pretty for a marauder. Most of them just grunt and yell. Ain't safe out here. You'd best head into town. Avail yourself of Edgewater's high walls and low, low prices. Let's sly as we do. Used to make your acquaintanceship. I'd shake your hand, but I've been hauling corpses. You don't want none of that on you. Name Silas. Junior in humor for the town of Edgewater. We're all part of the Spacer's Choice family. Good way to talk for a power regulator. Definitely not the junior in humor, that's for sure. If you've got business inquiries, you should stop by Reed Thompson's office. He's up in the tower above the cannery. Head into town, follow the road. Look, you obviously ain't a worker. What's your racket? You a smuggler? Freelancer? Depends on the work. You offering me a job? Edgewater is a company town, board owned and operated. That includes the cemetery. None of us own our grave sites. We rent them from the company. Renting means money. Money means paperwork. Paperwork means signatures. Some of our families become a mite delinquent in paying their dues, you see. Want me to collect what's owed to you? Yeah, I guess we can do that. Four workers still haven't paid up. Phyllis, Conrad, Ludwig, and Martin Abernathy. He's a special case. You may want to twist his arm a little. Conrad's got a barbershop in town. Phyllis works at the cannery most hours. Abernathy... I ain't seen him in a few days. His domicile is near the cannery. You'll find him in town. All except Ludwig, that is. He's over by the landing pad. He just is. Look, I don't want to get into it. Just make sure he pays up. Okay. Gotta collect some bills. We just arrived. What's in here? Paper. Early retirement. Thanks. We can steal. We shouldn't, though. Check the messages. Let's check the burial invoice. All right. Teddy's corpse was missing a hand, deducted five bits from gravesite fee. What a pal. All right, our first town, Edgewater. What are we gonna find in here? Well, first off, we need to find a power regulator, that's for sure. Heard something outside the walls today. Nothing for us outside those walls. You ought to know that. Got the cantina. Hey, lady. The latest report. I don't know you. Let's lie to her. Lie to everyone. Uh-huh. The Unreliable, you say? Never heard of any company supply ship with that particular name. I don't know what you're about, but this here is a Spacer's Choice drinking establishment. We're all loyal, hard-working company folk here. And what a fine establishment it is. You really think so? That's kind of you. 
I've been trying to keep the floors clean. You got no idea how long it takes to scrub the tiles. Hmm. Guess I misreckoned you. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to be curt. We just got some problems lately. I can get you a drink if you'd like. Gotta ask you to enjoy your beverage within the premises, though. Can't risk you bringing a drink over to those deserters. You understand. Deserters? <sighs> Traitors. The lot of them. Bunch of folks decided they were tired of working and went out into the wilds to fend for their own selves. Town's already struggling to make quotas, even without that band of slackwits abandoning their posts. Bunch of lazy, shiftless rung leeches. Anyway, enough about them. What can I do for you? Want to talk to Reed? Do you now? And what makes you think Mr. Thompson wants to talk to you? He's a busy man. You want to talk to Mr. Thompson? Try ignoring your duties. He'll summon you up to that great big tower atop the cannery, and you'll get yourself a proper dressing down. It is a good thing. If you're not pulling your weight, you don't deserve to live here. Simple as that. Let's have a drink. Right up. Merged skill is equal to the value of your best dialogue skill. Ooh. We don't have a lot of bits. In fact, we have no bits. We are bitsless. She only has booze. Oh. Sealed bundle. Mine now. I uh, think we've got thirty five chicken character again. Thirty seven with the adjusted value. Thievery won't one won't hurt anyone, right? What do we got in here? Then Mr. Chu, don't really need that. Bit cartridge, I'll take that. Soaps, more soaps. Let's go. workers or residents check the map that's not the map M is for map now we don't know what the other buildings are okay we'll have to go in barber shop hey barber please don't touch anything your hands are probably crawling with germs physical hygiene Recapitulates moral hygiene. Cleanliness is next to lawfulness. I can show you my hands. <laughs> Do it. No, thank you. That's quite all right. I've seen enough body parts in my line of work. I'm Conrad. You will report to me if your hair fails to meet Spacer's Choice aesthetic standards. 
you will also report to me in the event of your death, whereupon I will clean and prepare your remains for interment. Oh yeah. Collect. Ah, gravesite fees. Silas and I had talked about this at length. I thought I'd made it clear my pecuniary situation precludes the necessary restitutions. You mean you're broke? As broke as pie crust, friend. Bitless, indigent, destitute. I simply cannot afford it. I am a blemish on the prosperity of our fair settlement. When I expire, I expect Silas to toss my body into a ditch. I don't care. Pay up. Some quality drama. Thank you, no. I despise the cereals. Tell Silas I can't afford to pay. And that I fully expect to have my medical rights revoked for this dereliction. With my apologies. Just give him an IOU? Medical rights. Some time ago, I fell ill with the plague. By the grace of the law, and through my own hard work, I'd proven worthy of treatment. Frankly, I don't imagine I'll earn that right a second time. The barber work hasn't been profitable, you see. I've had to keep this old place running with my own savings. Not a bad idea. But I'd need some kind of collateral. My pair of lucky clippers! No, that won't do. Your idea intrigues me, but I'm afraid I don't have anything to give Silas. I'm open to suggestions. Let you know if I think of anything. Much obliged. Rip guy. Go pad here. Reception has shot himself. Ba -ba -ba. This is gonna ruin us. We can pawn off his teeth. <sighs> All right. I guess we could um, tell him about those. What can I do for you? Sound like you've had some training. I know a thing or two about medicine. Oh? Am I in the company of a fellow doctor? Only if we use the term doctor loosely. I am a Spacer's Choice Certified Surgeon. And if you must know, I can stitch a severed thumb with a 58% chance of avoiding gangrene. Why not use his teeth as collateral? You know about Eugene? How? I'm a mind reader. Do that. You were probably poking around my things. I really shouldn't leave my letters sitting out in the open. Eugene's golden teeth were a family heirloom, representing three generations of poor dental hygiene. He took them to his grave. Probably worth a few bits. More than a few. Those teeth were his personal savings. I can't ask Silas to dig up a man's body and pry a few teeth loose from his jaw just to pay my bills. Can I? So I don't care. Or you're gonna have to. Yes, I suppose I must. Here you are. Gravesite papers affixed with my signature and an IOU. Yeah. All right. That's one out of the four. Who is next? Sometimes I wonder what I'm doing with myself. How you feel? Hey, lady. Welcome to the Spacer's Choice Constabulary. We are Halcyon's leading brand in Frontier Justice. 
the office is writing up promotion. Purchase three criminal investigations and the fourth one's free. I'm looking for some work. Know how to carry yourself in a fight? I've got bounties out for these three marauders. Cross them off and bring me their fingers. Just one per marauder, please. I'll dust off the old fingerprint roller. All right. Guess that's that. We've got to go. We got some bounties to collect. What's in here? Ooh. Turn on engine, try it again, try it again, kick the loader, curse injured toes. Makes a rattling noise. Hmm. Well, very interesting. What's the mechanic? Seventeen bits, that's pretty good. What is that game? You lose. I'll have a bread. Do you not know the game? Well, it looks like trouble. Miss Pravati, they tell me her birthday will be set on the date she's legally delivered to you. Hmm. Luden. What is this game? Does anybody know? Apparently there's still one Pashizi board. Yeah, there is, but it's in the uh It's in the uh um, Hey you hear about Wilson? Well it's after the credits. The extra stuff. Extra dungeon, but I don't think we'll do it. Oh, box. factories here. Now there was someone here that we needed to collect their fees from. I'm not seeing anyone so far. everything. Don't mind me. 
vending machine. Also, we can sell stuff to the vending machine now that we have the um, hacking ability at 20. I'm gonna sell this. Just sell all the junk. Don't really need it. Bypass shunt, that's to hack computers. I mean, we should keep a few. It does give you regeneration, but... Didn't see what we could buy though. Oh, we can buy some armor. Well, we could if we had the money. Elite troop armor. Oh, a two handed. No, that's a one handed weapon. That's a two handed weapon. Telescoping staff. That's also a two handed weapon. A trip blade. I have 200 bits. So, where's that fella who owes the money? Oh, there. You the new worker? There Whatever. she is. Make it quick, Tenderfoot. I'm busy. I'm here to collect. Shit. Silas still on about that. Here, take the fees. I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell Reed I was late on my payment. Because they're not my fees, and not my gravesite. Guy I worked with shot himself. I paid the bill. Wait, what? If you're not familiar with board law, you ought to be. Law requires delinquent gravesite fees to be paid by the deceased party's closest living relative. Which meant me. Shame, though. Eugene was a good worker. So this guy shot himself? Woke up one morning and put a round through his upper story. Can't imagine why. The kid was doing all right at his desk. We all thought he was an upstanding receptionist. Just between the two of us, I'm pretty shocked his weapon didn't misfire. Spacer's choice handguns aren't the most reliable. Must be tough losing family. Eugene wasn't family. Yeah, I was the closest living person relative to his body at time of death. I'm the one who found him, you see, so I pay the fines. <laughs> Suicide's a crime. The legal term is irreparable damage to company property. What Eugene did to himself was vandalism. What you gonna do? Arrest his corpse? When one of your workers commits a crime, the entire town pays for it. In other words, Edgewater would have been penalized pretty hard. Whatever Eugene was worth as an asset, we would have had to pay out of pocket to Spacer's choice. Look around. Edgewater ain't exactly swimming in luxury. We can't afford to pay the body price of a suicide. All I know is Silas asked me for Eugene's gravesite fees. Which means he was approved for burial. Which means his papers went through. Which means the town's in the clear. I'm just glad to put this whole ugly affair behind me. Eugene can rest his bones in peace. And the rest of us can get on with our own lives. Alright. That's an interesting way to uh, do business.
business, I guess. Ooh, Tremor Cleaver. Maybe. Looks like a two-headed weapon to me. Ooh, big axe. Should we? It's a, it's a chainsaw axe. It's way too cool for hover. So getting real armor would be probably pretty good. So, from here... Doing guy? Don't make me report you to Mr. Thompson. For what? What did I do? Church. Work fortifies the spirit. Our place in the universe is fixed. Hey there, Mary. Don't see you round here too often. Oh, I just came to talk to the vicar is all. None of us are above confessionals. What have you got to confess? You ain't thinking of deserting, are you? What? No, 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 no. And I resent the accusation. Wasn't nothing but a question. Do excuse me. I must be on my way. Verity to you. Hmm. Going on in this small town. Hey, guy. Yes, what is it? You're an outsider. Fantastic. Vicar Maximilian de Soto at your service. Or Vicar Max, if you're the sort who prefers brevity. I so rarely get new people to talk to. Name your poison. Anything at all. Spiritual counseling. This season's tossball predictions. The quickest way out of town. Mechanical tomfoolery is well out of my purview. I suggest you take such matters to Mr. Thompson in the cannery. Oh, and a word of warning. If you're considering wandering around outside the safety of the town, you'd best be cautious. Marauders are about. Though if you are planning on venturing outside, I do have a proposition that may interest you. One of the reasons I transferred here was to fulfill my duty in hunting down banned heretical texts. I happen to know such a book is, as we speak, tainting a collector's library in Emerald Vale. However, the collector's residence lies outside the town's walls. My retrieval efforts have been thwarted by marauders who have overrun the property. Should you fare better than me, I'd pay a handsome sum for the book. Ooh. 
Tell me more. So you'll consider it? I do appreciate you hearing me out, and um, your discretion. It's a handwritten journal, a faded blue cover with the name M. Bakonu handwritten in the lower corner. I'll mark where I saw it on your map. Assuming you're serious? I'll look for your book. Thank you. If you retrieve it, you can always find me here. Every time I hear that guitar, it reminds me of StarCraft. Uh, General Store. Hey, guy. It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's choice. And before you ask, I'm all out of deluxe salt tuna. All I've got is gourmet. You ought to go have a talk with the boss, Reed Thompson. He's up in his tower above yeah, the cannery. Yeah, RimWorld as well. Music to my ears. What do you got, Julius? F. Blade. Impact Hammer. Got some uh, mag pick. Buy a few. armor be very nice now we're missing two people to collect stick house is no place for a traveler that's fine I appreciate the company and all, but you really ought to leave. You don't want to be seen around me. Because I'm sick, you don't want to associate with people in the sick house. We're not worth your time. I'm in about as much trouble as I can be. No reason you ought to be tarnished by association. People are going to talk. The walls talk is all. We all got sights on each other. Any of us breaks company protocol, boss is gonna hear about it from six different mouths. Maybe you don't know this, but there's a real simple reason you don't talk to the plagued. You don't want what we've got. Got some training. Don't, please. I could get into a lot of trouble. People trouble. Lazy worker like me getting special treatment from some out of town physiker like you. People will talk. Company always tells us weak spirits lead to weak bodies. If I didn't want to fall sick with plague, maybe I should have worked harder. Maybe I should have taken more pride in my work. <laughs> That's a little late for that. Don't blame yourself for being sick. It's a little late for that. I'm glad you see things my way. And not for nothing. But I appreciate you giving me the time of day. I'm feeling a touch faint. If you don't mind, I'd like to be alone for a spell. Shooting the bugs? Calm down, corporate guard. Go oh, nuts. I need cover. 
What are you doing? Had your rations yet? Yep. Two whole tanks of saltina. All right. Sorry, I'll just be a minute. You're out of minute. This. Henry. Okay. Missing someone to talk to. There's four people we had to collect from, right? I'm looking for blue doors. Fine, Mr. Thompson. Never been healthier. Well, uh, did, uh, did Mr. Thompson send you? Well, you tell Mr. Thompson I'll be right at my post. Tomorrow. Uh, bright and early tomorrow. Because I'm definitely not plagued. As spry as a spring chicken. <laughs> That's old Abernathy. Wanna tell me what's got you so nervous? You some sort of wandering alienist? Walking into a man's own domicile, pestering him about his mental state? I'm here to collect. Silas knows, doesn't he? That's why he sent you. That's why he wants me to pay up. He knows. He told me everything. Sounds like he's already told you. You may as well hear it from me. I'm dying. I'm not long for this world. The date of my expiration is fast approaching. And soon I shall be ushered through the great cannery in the skies. The great cannery in the skies. Plague. Has to be. Silas knows. He knows I got one foot in my grave and now he wants to charge me for the other one. You are? Oh, wow. First time anyone's ever told me that. I'll pay your fees. I don't want any trouble from Silas. But if you could see a way to freelancing for me, I could really use the help. Oh? There's a cache of anthracillin tucked away in the old community center. Powerful stuff. Stronger than what we got, anyway. I need you to break in, nab that medicine, and bring it back to me. I'll do it. You oblige me with your haste. I think I feel the plague spreading. Oh, Lord, it's in my spleen now. I can feel it. Just keep your head down when you're in there. Marauders have taken over. Probably tracking mud all over the archives. All right. Guess, uh, guess we'll go into the community center. We go collect some... Uh... medicine bye bye you're making a mistake working for Abernathy oh excuse me excuse me I'm Esther Blaine Spacer's Choice Actuary I overheard your talk with Abernathy I hope you're not thinking about getting him that medicine Abernathy is a well-known hypochondriac anthracillin is wasted on him you're better off selling it to me instead. Got symptoms of something. All I'm saying is Abernathy's worked in this town longer than some of us been alive. How do I put this gently? He's, uh... He's got a lot of cobwebs up in his attic. I probably shouldn't tell you. Don't want you implicated for what I'm trying to do. Let me oh persuade fifteen now. Let me worry about right. it. Here's a summary. A lot of sick people in this town. 
and we don't have the medicine to treat them all. Can't reach out to corporate without crossing a river of red tape, so I'm reaching out to you. Something like that. Look, I'm not in the habit of lawbreaking, but sometimes you've got to do the wrong thing for the right reasons. That's all I can ask of you. All right. So, what are we missing for the last one? Ludwig. Landing pad. Where's the landing pad? I do believe this will be the landing pad. Where am I going here? Shovel? We can steal it. Pick. And some criminal activities here. Killing rats to level up the RPG experience. How's it going? Wasn't Chaos Gate a huge pain in the ass to stream, though? Tremor Cleaver is uh, 500 bits, so we saved a lot of money there. Remember Jake trying to uh, stream. What do you think you're doing? Uh oh. 
Nothing at all. Just don't make any trouble for me, okay? Thank the law. I've been requisitioning backup for months. Guess the boss finally came to his senses. You ever swung a truncheon? Let me see your rifling stance. I want to make sure you're up to snuff. I told Silas I'd pay my dues if he agreed to join the resistance. Guess this means he's finally heard the calling. The war. The coming apocalypse. Man versus machine. I'm talking about mechanical soldier. Cold, heartless automatons made of iron and lies. Just my luck. I ask for backup, and the boss sends me one of them simple folk. All right. Listen real close. Auto-mechanicals. Creatures forged in the fires of malevolence. I seen them over by the old power plant. Clattering about. Firing at the birds. Orchestrating their uprising. When the swarms of mechanicals come clanging on over that hill, where will you be? Cowering beneath your cot? Or standing shoulder to shoulder with the resistance? Hey there, Freeport. If the resistance need a, needs another gun, I'm for hire. I've been gathering up a war chest over the years. Saw tuna cans mostly, some spacers chaw, a few bit carts. I'll reward you for your aid. Persuade him. Enlistment fees. Yeah, I suppose. Wouldn't want to give the resistance a bad name. All right, 75 bucks for free. They have sent a scout prowling around the junkyard just behind our beloved town. This scout must not be permitted to return to its base of operations. Cross it off, then report back. Mechanicals got a weak spot in their midsections. I think the technical term is, um, the blue glowy square thing. Bring us honor, soldier. Go on. I'm Ludwig Miller, Associate Security Officer for Transportation. Officially? Unofficially? Strictly between you and me. I am the only thing standing between Edgewater and total annihilation. Oh my. Alright, let's go kill a robot. Wouldn't be that tough, right? Got a chainsaw axe. Come in here. Probably, yeah. Probably put the quest on my map. Um, die, robot, die. Searching for repair bay. Error. Navigation systems failed. Unable to comply. Oh, we can repair it. 30 engineering, though. Let's do it. Navigation systems operational. Optimal path toward repair bay detected. Initiating self-diagnostics. Don't you owe me something for the repairs? Spacer's Choice reminds all colonists that serving the Spacer's Choice family is the highest possible reward. I have been 
program to deliver this pre-approved message. Boy. Oh boy. Level up. gun inside all right so with that uh, we can go see the guy because we completed the mission also got more skill points oh so let's put them points probably get tech to 40 uh, okay so we won't get 40 until We've unlocked the third drug mixing slot. Tinkering cost minus 50%. Break down weapons and armor for a 20% 20, 20 chance to extract the basic mod. More dialogue. Glad we're investing no points whatsoever in combat. Definitely not. Oh. You can command your companions to your special ability. Okay. okay. Obviously, you don't need combat in this game. Yeah. It's just like in New Vegas, right? Don't need to kill anything. Oh my god! assistant didn't make it. Dying to angry bats, I know, right? If only I had some kind of combat ability. Like dodge or block. Bring us honor, soldier. Did the work. You beat that scout to scrap with its own legs? Pulled its optic cables out of its headcase? Actually, don't tell me. Rather use my imagination. You're a passing fair soldier, I will confess. But you are one, and the enemy is legion. What you need is an equalizer, a weapon to strike fear in their cold, mechanical hearts. 
Cantina, lavatory. Behind one of the toilets. That's where I've kept it hidden all these years. What? All by yourself? I could have sworn I hid that bundle safe from prying eyes. But give it here. Feast your eyes, soldier. This here is a genuine Spacer's Choice injury customizing unit. Designed to deliver a lethal blast of electrical discharge. I call it the Hand of the Law. You ever want to see a mechanical flailing around like a grounded fish? You stick a couple thousand bolts in its guts. With compliments from old Ludwig. There's a workbench right through this door. Attach that unit to your favorite <gasps> weapon and Ooh. go forth into glorious battle. Time's come for you to journey down into the black heart of the enemy's camp. I'm talking about the old geothermal plant. Unfortunately, the old plant lies outside my board-given jurisdiction. You'll need to get a passcode from the boss, Reed Thompson. I need you to get us the brain of a mechanical. Well, not exactly a brain. Anatomically speaking, what we're looking for is a logic module. There's the rub. If a mechanical breaks down, the logic module fries. So you can't rip one out of its corpse. You're gonna have to find an intact model somehow. Don't tell anyone, all right? I've got a contact. A real expert in the inner workings of the automaton. We are gonna rip those mechanical secrets right out of their circuits. <laughs> wow, rude. That's a bit rude. If you die horribly, I will pour out a can of zero G to your memory. Zero G, my favorite. Put a mod on this. Uh, can't put a mod. How unfortunate. Can we put a mod on our weapons though? Light assault rifle? Yeah, mag to zap. Changes the weapon damage to shock. Tinker, I would increase the cleaver damage to 70. Sure, let's do it. Yeah. Break down the shovel with some weapon parts. Ah, we probably need a shovel. I can't steal this guy. Well, we gotta go talk to Ludwig, so. And not Ludwig, but Reed. We can get the pass key. I also gotta go talk to the grave digger. Cause he has the. Oh, well, we're gonna get the reward for the quest. I'm going the right way here. Fancy threads. That some kind of hibernation suit? You run into any trouble? Reliable work from a freelancer. That's gonna take some getting used to. 
I went out of my way for you. Then I'll buy you a drink sometime. What? Uh, suppose you've earned it. One good turn deserves another. There we go. Abernathy was sick? With the plague? That's disgusting. I shook hands with the guy. I needed his fees because of his name. A for Abernathy. He was at the top of my list, you see? Yeah? Former people, yeah. Marauders been raiding my graves, you see? Hence the armed guards. Oh no. They are after the most precious loot of all. Spacer's Choice Company property. If those marauders swipe any more bodies out of my cemetery, company's gonna duck my pay. All right. See ya. Now, where's Big Boss? I've been feeling pretty low these days. Nothing I can do about that. Okay. Monkey Argo? I'm sorry, Mr. Thompson, sir. You asked why it's taking so long to fix. The answer's technical. Don't apologize. Just try using small words for me. The cans bust open in the oven because she's set to cook saltuna, which isn't what we've got. Mr. Thompson? I think there's someone here to see you. Focus, Miss Holcomb. You and I are still talking. Let's start over. Walk me through the process. Show me where it's going awry. Well, sure. It's uh, mostly on account of what we're feeding into the mechanism. It puts food in cans. We have food, we have cans. Why won't it work like we need? She's expecting Seltuna of a certain size. We're filling the cans with... Well, not fish. Hmm. That's, uh, that's interesting. Hey, how are you? Seems we've got a guest. Really now, Parvati, I do wish you'd spoken up. I do apologize. I was given no forewarning of your arrival, or I might have welcomed you at the gates myself. I'm Reed Thompson, outpost administrator. I cannot help but notice you are not in uniform. You got the wrong idea. Yes, so it dawns on me. Seems I allowed my excitement to run away with my wits. Been a few seasons since we've had a visitor pass through. Looking for a power regulator. Only regulator we got is hooked up to the town transformer. Mr. Tobson ain't liable to be keen on dismantling it. I beg your pardon. I am most emphatically not keen on any such thing. I can't let you have our power regulator. But I happen to know of another one. And I happen to know exactly how you may retrieve it without frying yourself in the process. There's a power regulator in the old botanical lab. It's mostly abandoned, so all that power is being squandered. Go down to the geothermal plant. Reroute power from the botanical district over to us. Once their power shut down, you can have their regulator and be along on your way. What do you mean by mostly abandoned? I was not entirely sure how to tell you this. The botanical labs are not legally inhabited, but there are people who live there.
Don't think those people would take kindly losing their power. No, I do not imagine they will be pleased. But like a parent disciplining an unruly child, you will be doing them a kindness. The people living in the botanical labs, they're deserters, former workers. I need them back at their posts. I need them to come home. Come home. You want me to solve your deserter problem? I charge by the head. Good law, no, I don't want you killing anyone, least of all them. My hope is that by cutting off their power, you will convince those deserters to come back to town. Before you go to the plant, I want you to stop by the botanical lab. Speak to their leader, Adelaide. Tell her the power's about to go, and that it's time her band of deserters came back to town. Adelaide's older than the other deserters. She's dignified, kindly. From what I understand, her camp looks to her for leadership. That is not a hypothetical I enjoy entertaining. We need Adelaide back. Nonetheless, I will settle for the return of her followers. We belong to one community, the Spacer's Choice family. If we dissolve into factions, then we will all perish separately. Adelaide will understand that. All right, I'll see what I can do to help you. My dad told me all about the plant. Taught me all he knew. I could come in useful. I mean, if that's all right with you, Mr. Thompson. Sir. I hesitate to part ways with Miss Holcomb, but I cannot deny that she is talented and may prove useful to you. Companion. You will need an administrative passcode in order to enter the plant. I am trusting you with mine, and trusting Miss Holcomb to guide you if you'd like. Sure. Great. I got my wrenches and diagnosticators and hairpins and engine tape, so I'm all set. Well, I am glad to hear that. Best of luck to you, and thank you again for your help. It is a lot to ask of a stranger, I know. Bye-bye. Oh boy, companions provide combat support. Their skills enhance your skills. They have increased your carrying capacity. And you can unlock their special abilities, which we have. All right, Pravati. We better clear out of Mr. Thompson's office before we talk. Okay. No, we've maxed. You missed the start of the hey, game can there. We talk? Sorry. Can we talk? Yeah, give me a second. You missed the start of the game, Mike, where we created the character. Sorry. I. You just want to get out of here. And you likely don't want to tag along like me. It's just. Mr. Thompson has his own view on matters, on account of it's his job and, and what all, but that's not the only side of the tale. Figures, Reed didn't exactly strike me as the most honest soul. What's the other side of it? To Mr. Thompson, a person's a gear. It does its job quiet-like. If it squeaks or stutters, it gets replaced. The deserters are decent folk. I knew some of them before they left. Miss McDevitt? Oh, gosh, no. She was a real important person. A flavorist. Made all the food taste decent. She used to work up in the big office with Mr. Thompson. All I know is she left after her son died. It was a real big to-do. I could hear them both yelling clear from my own place. Can't say as I know I wasn't there. The sound carried, but not the words. If Mr. Thompson ain't of a mind to tell you his own self, you'd best ask Miss McDevitt, if you can get out to her. Mr. Thompson's aiming to take away their power. They'll have no lights to see, nor heat to cook. They'll be at the mercy of marauders, or worse. It just... 
They don't seem right to me, mister. I think you should talk to the town's vicar about it. Max, his name is. Talk to Max? Books are for rich folk. I wonder what he wants with something like that. I wonder. Thanks, mister. I just think when you gotta make a decision that'll hurt somebody, it's best to think on the right and wrong of it. That's what my dad used to say anyways. Right. Okay, so Provardi, I think we can equip her. We got a pistol, impact hammer. Yeah, I think you got better gear than I do. Yeah, I think she does. Our uh, character, by the way. So, uh, the chat decided, uh, Mike, to, um, we had six stats to split through six abilities, and they decided to put all the points in personality. Because, so, we're gonna be pretty average when it comes to combat. Boy, boy oh boy, do we have charm. And uh, also, uh, our skills are all focused on technical and dialogue and not in combat. So that's going to be fun. Can't wait to die to everything. Let companions fight. You lean back. I oh, like it work. Now, before we go talk to Miss Adelaide, there was another quest we could do. That was the digits. Oh no, we wanted to talk to Max first. Talk to Max. Well, we didn't invest points in sneaking there. Yeah, basically. We're a smooth talker. Who can take a punch. We can't really give a punch. We're kind of like uh, Homer in The Simpsons when he was boxing. Any progress on that matter we discussed? Ah, oh, Miss Holcomb. How rare to see you out. And with a complete stranger. Curious. This here's Vicar de Soto. He's always offering spiritual counsel to those that need it. Thank you for the kind assessment, Miss Holcomb. I admit, I've been quite interested to make our outsider's acquaintance. Please get it. What would you like to discuss? Uh, what? I, I thought you would talk to him. You wanted to speak to me, Ms. Holcomb? Every time I've tried to engage you in conversation, you look at the floor, answer in single words, and slink away. I can't imagine what would be so grave as to drive her to my mission. What has Mr. Thompson asked you to do? Cut the power. Depriving them of safety from the marauders and wildlife. I can see why that troubles you. Miss Holcomb has a soft heart. Always has, if you believe the talk. They rejected the order of society and live beyond the walls so thoughtfully provided by our Spacer's Choice patrons. Does that strike you as a responsible life choice? Hmm... Assuming your goal is to save as many as possible, then you should bring everyone together. Send the power to Edgewater and convince the deserters to return to the fold. Not if things are left to stand as they are. All right. Well, that's our, our plan. Get everyone back together again.
first let's go fight off a few uh a few marauder kings doing the fistful of digits we gotta kill doc maybell birdie cotton and guillaume antrim all right but First, we're going to take a small break, and then we will come back for more Outer Worlds. Stay tuned for that.